Hi there, I'm at Kapola Reserve today in Gillis Plains with a summary of the key decisions from our June Council meeting. This reserve has been earmarked for an upgrade as part of the 2021 Annual Business Plan and Budget. We're looking forward to putting in a basketball and netball half court, a picnic and barbecue area, paths, lighting and a new playground. We're continuing to meet virtually via video, but we'll be back meeting in the chamber in person soon. We started the meeting with the endorsement of the new independent chair for the Central Adelaide Waste and Recycling Authority Board. Catherine Cooper has been selected to this independent body to oversee the building and operations of the materials recovery facility at Kilburn. This initiative is a collaboration between the cities of PAE and Charles Sturt and we're taking control of the processing and disposal of our recyclable materials and adding back to the circular economy. Next on the agenda was leasing, with reports about new leases for 175 St Vincent Street, Edward Smith Reserve and Delightful Cafe, and a renewed lease for the Port Adelaide Bowling Club. Following that was a report about the new housing development on the site of the old Enfield High School off Grand Junction Road. We had a petition presented to us last month, and this month we had quite a lengthy discussion about street widths, parking, and verges in this development. We also discussed the need for the developing of the park and the playground area for the community and the families of Enfield to use to remain socially and culturally connected. Playgrounds are a big part of our planning for next year. We will be reinstating Hotchkiss Reserve playgrounds with landscaping, paving, shelters, barbecue facilities, fitness equipment and fencing and returning 9,000 square metres of usable open space to the reserve for everyone to enjoy. This will happen once the state government has vacated this site as part of the new North-South Road Corridor street work. We also took a motion without notice for our administration to prepare a report on the costs, timeframe, benefits and risks of undertaking a streetscape master plan for Semaphore, which considers, among other things, a placemaking strategy and opportunities for outdoor dining and improving pedestrian access. Our highlight for the evening was to be able to recognise and acknowledge the 20 years of service by Councillor Tony Barker. As the elected member for Clemsing for this time, we noted and discussed Councillor Barker's contribution to the community over his 20 years with PAE. Thank you, Tony, for your outstanding service to our community. That was a summary of the key topics of discussion and decisions from our June meeting of PAE Council. As always, you can read the full agenda and minutes on our website, cityofpae.sa.gov.au, and I'll see you next time.